I'm Tricia Johnson, and I am the science teacher at Common Ground High School in New Haven, Connecticut. And I'm Brian Callahan. I'm a history social studies teacher. And between the two of us, we teach a course on environmental justice. We teach kids from the city. We wanted to show them that they had a voice. And kids don't often think of themselves as having voices in, and power to do anything. So the idea was to show them how they could um, do something in their own community. And I would extend that to say that High school kids are very, very adept at identifying injustice. So we really begin with environmental injustice and the trick is to get them to the point where they understand that they have the agency to bring justice into the world. Uh, and for me, environmental justice is a difficult term because I, I have a very difficult time separating that from social justice issues that maybe have an environmental component to them. Um, but to get the kids to understand that it's not enough to just recognize the injustice, but to figure out what to do about it and that they actually have the ability and the capacity uh, as individuals and as a group to work within a community to make change and affect change in a positive way. That's what we try to do. There are um, curricular goals that are related to science and curricular goals that are related to social studies, history, uh, civics mostly. Uh, so the curriculum on the social studies side of it relates to how the government works and how individuals work within the government. Uh, and it also takes a look at social justice and stages of social justice and where students would enter that process. Are they entering the process by going and finding research to inform a community? Are they entering that process in terms of building uh, relationships, building um, political action groups? Uh, are they entering that process where they are competing against a different political interest that is the cause of the injustice? As well as trying to understand the New Haven community and where some of the historical injustices have derived in this particular moment in history. So we look a little bit of American history, some racial history, uh, and we give them some language around uh, some legal issues. And on the science side, what we're looking at are the impacts of environmental injustices on health issues primarily. Uh, what are the risks? Um, I, we teach the students about uh, toxicology, about exposure, that there are different levels of uh, toxic chemicals. We look at um, what's toxic in their own home. Um, and we take a look at, at environmental issues in New Haven that have an effect primarily on the um, more disadvantaged community. The fact that it's engaging them in what's happening in their backyard, that's an obvious hook for, for making them become active participants in the classroom. I mean, as when teachers, we're real good at pontificating about issues that kids just don't care about. And so when we start talking about toxic issues that are happening in Fairhaven Heights, or we talk about the history of redlining right in New Haven, the kids start saying, wait a minute, that's my street. Or we show them a video where there are people that they actually know uh, in that video. Immediately, they are engaged. And it's also interesting that when they come in and we start asking them about problems in their neighborhood, either they'll say, you know, maybe they'll say there aren't any problems, or they'll say, this is the problem, but I'm just one person, I'm just one voice, I, have, I can't, there's nothing I can do about it. Invariably, by the end of the course, the kids talk about that transition going from, I thought I was somebody who couldn't do anything about this, to I think I can do something about it now.
We had a class of about 20 kids. They were divided into uh, groups of four or five. Uh, one group worked on trash issues. One group worked on um, how issues of recycling are taught in the city schools versus suburban schools, looking at differences in learning between those two communities. One group talked about um, pollution in the West River watershed, um, invasive species in the West River watershed, and then another group worked on um, toxic tour in the Fairhaven Heights area, and they produced a beautiful brochure about that issue, as well as a video. <laughs> I haven't been here long enough to say, so I can't, but she can. Um, the mission of uh, the mission statement, original mission statement for Common Ground's charter, um, was to teach the, all subjects in an ecological way. All of the courses at Common Ground endeavor to help the students understand what they're learning in the classroom engages with what's happening in their world. We try to find that connection. I'm not going to tell you that we always do it well, <laughs> but the environmental justice course is one in which we have the opportunity to do it well, and it's much more obvious to them. We have a number of courses at the school where that happens, uh, sustainable design and food in the environment, uh, biodiversity. These are kind of our signature courses, and environmental justice is one of them. We do a lot of looking at the world and talking about sustainability um, all, over, all around the world today. And environmental justice incorporates almost all of the pieces of sustainability. You've got human rights issues, you've got um, pollution issues, you have poverty issues and all kinds of other social justice um, problems that get wrapped into looking at what are the consequences of our behavior. Anything we can do to partner with community organizations, this environmental justice course is completely and utterly reliant upon that. Us. We're always looking for partners and we've partnered in the past with CARE out of the Yale School of Public Health. Two years ago we did a project where we worked with them on their Healthy Corner Store initiative. We have worked with the West River Watershed Consortium. We work with the Peabody Museum in a lot of our classes. We really want to be involved in issues that people in neighborhoods or in the uh, political system um, want to have resolved.